so hello everyone welcome to yourpedia education so today we are here at iit ropal and today we got an opportunity to interact with dr abhinav so who is here you know heading the card center for applied research in data science so it's a new initiative by iit ropal and during this interaction we would like to explore what all courses are being run under this uh, basically you know centers for the computer science student or other branch students so hello professor so first of all thanks for taking out time to meet us today so it's an honor to have you here hello and uh, welcome to iit ropal so we have this unique center for applied research in data sciences and uh, we are offering a msc program which i would like to share you know with your uh, viewers so uh, friends this is a very unique program a two year program it's called masters in data science and management and uh, the unique part is that uh, this is a jointly offered degree with uh, iit ropal and i am amritsar so as by now you would have guessed the data science part is taken care of by iit ropal and the management part is uh, led by i am amritsar so it's a residential program first year students would be here at iit ropal they will get to see the different departments the different technologies and you know the uh, newest and the brightest things which are happening in data science artificial intelligence and right. machine learning and uh, in parallel we'll also be training them with management concepts as well and then in the second year they will go to amritsar at i am amritsar uh, they'll continue some of the advanced ai courses uh, data science courses and we'll have more uh, content coming from managerial perspective so at the end of the program we are going to have students who are ready to be data scientists and product managers and that will open up so many opportunities for the students and have the joint knowledge and support for training and placement from both iit ropal and i am amritsar right uh, that's great uh, dr abhinav see when we talk about the today's time you know data science ai and ml so there is a buzz around the student regarding this topic right that trending these days but uh, somewhere down the line i believe student uh, have misconception they consider them entirely a single thing so as per your expertise what is the basic difference between these things ji ji i think that's a very very good question so i think uh, ai ml and data science can be thought of as amar akbar and anthony all right they are related one is elder one is uh, you know let's say younger so if we talk about machine learning that is simply that we want to create a system which when shown some examples should be able to tell you that when a new example comes in is this example same as my earlier examples or not a simple example is a child when you tell the child okay here is how a car looks like right and now when you show the child the picture of a truck the child will not say this is a bike will the child will relate it to the a car and probably you know say it's a big car right right so that is a system or child has learned with some examples that is machine learning now machine learning is the younger brother it's elder brother or a super set is artificial intelligence right right that is simply saying that we are interested in creating machines which are able to interpret data around it now interpret data is in you know we have a camera camera is recording let's say uh, you know movement which is happening it has a microphone it has a accelerometer and you know gyroscope so all these sensors are giving us some data how to make some judgment how to do some prediction right how to tell the robot that it has to go straight at a certain speed that is artificial intelligence right right now coming to data science now data science is purely analysis of data now that data can be let's say a comment which is written uh, for a product online or it can be you know the information coming in with respect to stock prices so how to make sense of it how to find patterns in it for example let's say if you look at the comments and the buying pattern of a certain product over time can we tell that you know what type of what category of uh, you know customers are coming are they young or are they you know more uh, mature customers and what are the time of the days right. when they are buying now if we have that information can we then use that prediction to ha have better stocking of the product right, right. now that is data science now the moment you have analyzed that comes machine learning can i use machine learning to predict what would be the requirement let's say 6 months down the line when a new product or some update will be released right, right. so these are again amar akbar anthony there is a difference but all of this all these three concepts boil down to the basics of linear algebra and statistics 
right that's great see we see today in the data science in most of the premier institution like iits nits every bachelor discipline graduates are allowed be it from electrical electronic civil mechanical so when a person is coming from the mechanical or some civil or electronics background so what are the basic fundamental as a faculty you at least expect that person should have see typically what happens with our engineering programs first year is general purpose engineering courses right so a student who is coming to let's say mechanical civil or computer science will be taking a one course which is a programming course right, right, right. the other course could be let's say going to the workshop the mechanical workshop right, right? then there will be electrical related courses as well so if we talk about data science the prior expertise is just some knowledge of programming let's say some knowledge of c or python and understanding of the basics of mathematical concept which everyone learns irrespective of their domain uh, the stream in which they are working so when they come into a data science program you would expect that they can code a bit we train them for the you know how let's say uh, language can be used for analysis uh, visualization and making sense of the data and uh, with the prior maths expertise they should be able to hop onto data science right right right, right. if sir someone want to enter into a data science field so what is the prerequisites required ji so uh, first of all a language i would say right and uh, currently python is uh, the most popular language because of the supporting uh, softwares and libraries which are there and it's free as well so you know easy to learn there are lot of resources available so i would suggest if anyone wants to start their career into data science they first look at some open source resources which are available use python language to analyze that data for example you know if it's a customer data then uh, what are the buying patterns uh, what is uh, the most popular product that is actually computing a max right what is the most common product that is uh, computing a mean so these basic maths that is applied through a language and that will lead to data science and one critical component which uh, would then come into the picture is a uh, database because we need to store data we need to access fetch data so i think uh, programming expertise knowledge of uh, databases that can result into someone you know uh, being ready to learn data engineering data science and then perhaps have a career in this field and so students are so confused even a csc background students are also so confused that either he or she can go for csc or for ai ml or data science course so how he can able to select these courses what are the like prerequisites required or what he can see in that courses see typically let's say if you are talking about a masters course a mtech course in ai right now in a mtech course the expectation would be that a student who comes in uh, perhaps may have given a uh, exam like gate right and if they would they would have written their gate in computer science or in electrical now they would have done the necessary mathematics they would have done some programming right now if it's a mtech in ai uh, programming plus data structures and basics of maths would be the expectation because then you know in a mtech program in artificial intelligence we will be teaching them advanced concepts because one thing uh, you know as uh, uh, the viewers our friends they need to understand with ai data science and ml there are two broad components one is how do i use ai and data science to a particular area for example uh, let's say i am a mechanical engineer how can i use artificial intelligence to predict cracks in a particular metal right yeah now there i would be applying the domain knowledge which is my mechanical knowledge and then applying it to a uh, you know using a ai tool the second component essentially is that these ai tools who are going to develop them who are going to upgrade them who are going to do progress in them those are the people who will be working in ai the and and they are the ones who are going to do mtech in ai right so one are the ones who are going to deploy they need domain knowledge and uh, ai or data science knowledge and the others are who are going to make progress in ai and data science how to make the software easier to use how to make them readily available and to also being able to understand different domain knowledges so and yeah sir one is the one major question is like the placement so how's the placement for data science and ai students how's the placement sir so the placement is extremely good and i will put it this way irrespective of wherever a student is whichever part of the country the student is if he or she is clear on the basics of data science and or ai and i'm using and or ai here right they are two very very different things because the job market is different for them they should be able to get a job certainly if you you see you know how chat gpt and these other large language models are 
have changed you know our perception of uh, automating tasks this is going to get faster and faster which means domain experts let's say a person who is has a training in civil engineering and basic knowledge of artificial intelligence will be able to find a job because domain knowledge is required so placements is not an issue at all what we require is people with clear basics and they should know what is the market trend if you know the market trend you know the basics you should be able to find a very good job and sir someone who wants to pursue their phd so what you can see in that particular um, student sir uh, i would say first of all uh, congratulations on taking this decision uh, simply because a phd is going to teach you to first formulate the correct problem then how to solve the problem which is essentially trying to do the literature review you know that is simply looking at what all has been done in research in that particular problem till now you identify a gap and then try to work on solutions so at the end of the phd one would know the process of executing a research project they okay. and and you know it's not then just about let's say someone did a phd in electrical uh, engineering or in computer science engineering in a very particular focus topic if they have learned the problem solving process then they can actually apply it to other uh, you know use cases and other business verticals as yes, well yes, yes. and then uh, <coughs> amazing careers await them yeah. and so if we talk about the non csc background how easy or complex for a student to cope up with ai ml part i think uh, again so let's say if someone's coming from mechanical electrical right uh, nowadays every student does some but basic programming right uh, python or c language uh, as compared to computer science student maybe the starting few weeks could be a challenge but uh, depending on what sub area in computer science or ai they are going to work on they may not have any disadvantage or any you know a major disadvantage as compared to computer science student because uh, everyone does a bit of programming right and there are multiple areas in computer science some which may not require let's say a very thorough knowledge of algorithms uh, but may require uh, knowledge about communications and electrical guys do study communications as well right so i won't say it's a major challenge for non cs people as well and if you actually see people who have done great work in machine learning in foreign universities older universities older institutions right they are typically non computer science people who are either coming from physics or from mathematics and computer yeah. science was in infancy yes. and then they uh, you know did all the the research and we had these concepts in computer science computer science was born out of you know either physics department or electrical department yes. in different universities so i see no uh, you know uh, barrier for others to join computer science so that's truly a very you know informative insights sir so, so dr avina my question is how one can reach the campus of iit roper from different part of countries so uh, iit roper is in roopnagar district which is a very historical place uh, this has been the uh, you know the genesis of uh, the indus valley civilization and since it's a very historical place we are very well connected so we are about 50 minutes from uh, chandigarh airport Uh, Roper has a railway station as well, and we are one hour away from uh, the Chandigarh train station as well, which you know leads to a very easy connectivity to different parts of the country. Right, 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 right. So, Dr. Avinav, it seems there is lot to look forward to, but it's a wrap up time. So, any final piece of advice or message you want to share with our viewers who are willing to join IIT Roper for their MSc, MTech, or PhD degree, please? Uh, well, I think. Uh, you come to iit roper you will see the faculty the expertise which we have the facilities which we have and i'm i'm pretty sure you will be uh, totally satisfied and whatever dream you have with respect to why you want to pursue masters or phd i'm sure you know we will in, uh, try to enable that and fulfill your journey uh, so thank you for your valuable time dr abhinav thank so you. your insights have been truly enlightening i'm sure they will definitely inspire a lot of students thank you thank you Thank you.